approached by Flair and Air Transat to be a part of this trip to Lisbon was honestly unreal. To be able to travel for my job is always a highlight and I love the fact that they've paired me with another Canadian blogger, one that I've never met before. So to be with for a week to discover a new city is a new challenge and something cool and I hope that at the end of it I just make a really great new friend. I mean, I'm excited to get to know her and I'm excited to get to know a new city. See, she has a huge blog in Toronto. Everybody knows her. So I was like, well, I don't know how she'll react. And I was so happy to see her and she was smiling. We actually met right in Chiado at this great little street market um, that had all of these books. It was a really nice little book market just all along one tiny street. So when we met up, we decided to go to a really cool cafe that we'd heard about just up the street that's apparently really popular. So we went and had a drink and it's sort of like a Brazilian cafe that had beautiful architecture. It kind of reminded me of Paris a little bit. It's an historical cafe, so the inside, like you enter in it and it seems like you're not in 2015. We have a really great little store called Lochas du Borel and they specialize in all of these really amazing wool blankets and they make hats and bags and you know they've really helped bring back this traditional fabric. Why Burrell? What does that mean? Burrell, it's, mean, it's the name of the fabric made of 100% wool. It's going to a machine, then go to a warm waters and the, the, the fabric shrinks and they put like this, we can work with. It's a very old Portuguese material that was originally used to make the cloaks for the shepherds and for people in the countryside generally. Like. And what we proposed ourselves to do was turn it into a contemporary product. Then we work with artisans and craftsmen to produce other objects like the, the bags, for example. Some are made like the backpacks are made in the factory, in our factory. At some point a few years ago, uh, one of the biggest, or the biggest one in Montegas went bankrupt. And we were talking about an enormous factory with a lot of employees. So, uh, and because that went bankrupt, a small, a smaller ones went bankrupt as well. And that's where we became more involved in the local uh, community. Portugal is going through a transition where people start to believe in what's made here. People love it because people relate to it and it's Portuguese and it's beautiful and it's colorful. I think what unites all of the Burel team is that we all love the project. See the store, which is very, very modern, very cool. Um, it's very much a lifestyle store, more so than a fashion store. But if you're looking in Lisbon for something that really means something to the people of Portugal, this is a great brand to know. It was nice to see that they're really known as the first company in Portugal to be supporting organic skincare. And as someone who is a huge fan of organic natural skincare and really champions using organic skincare from Canada, I hope that the next time that I visit Organi that they'll have maybe their own line or be um, carrying more organic skincare that's actually from Portugal or from Lisbon because right now, from my understanding, there aren't any Portuguese brands that are up to par for organic skincare, so they aren't able to carry any. So they really just curate a really fantastic selection. I mean, they have a ton of Dr. Hauschka. So as a fan of that brand, it was cool to see in the store. Of course, it's beautiful. My first impression of Lisbon was that it was a very beautiful and vibrant city. And I'm a huge fan of architecture. I personally don't think it's much to look at. And it really, in an odd way, reminded me of a lot of my favorite cities. They even have streetcars, so in a way it kind of reminded me of Toronto, which is certainly a surprise.